Now, folks, I've said it during a deposition for the National Park Service, and I'll say it again. <laughs> the eagles. No, sure. They're noble American symbols, but when it comes to the NFL kind, eagles can also be traitors. The president announcing the Philadelphia Eagles will not be visiting the White House tomorrow to celebrate their Super Bowl victory due to the national anthem controversy. The Eagles, who won Super Bowl 52, apparently wanted to send a smaller group of players. A handful did not plan to attend. Yes, and by handful, she means about 76. <laughs> the only members of the Eagles organization who did plan to attend were two or three players, the owner, and the team's beloved mascot, Swoop. <laughs> to be fair, we don't know how many people are in Swoop. There could be two or three or the entire 2017 Golden State Warriors. We don't know. Even so, Trump had no choice but to kick the flag hating Eagles to the curb, saying that staying in the locker room for the playing of our national anthem is as disrespectful to our country as kneeling. Sorry. Take that, Eagles. Even though, technically, no Eagles players ever took a knee or stayed in the locker room during the anthem. But they obviously hate America. Why else would they have willingly beat the crap out of the Patriots? <laughs> and why else would we have seen so many photos of the Eagles kneeling on Fox yesterday? I want to show you uh, a clip from Fox News last night where they played Eagles players kneeling. Eagles tight end Zach Ertz tweeted this reaction. This can't be serious. Praying before games with my teammates well before the anthem is being used for your propaganda. Just sad. I feel like you guys should have been better than this. Oh, sorry, Rule. But no, we're not going to be better because in Trump country, we be best. <laughs> And sure, fact lovers whined enough about this that Fox technically issued an apology for taking the kneeling out of context by taking pictures of players kneeling in prayer before the game and using them as evidence of protest during the anthem. <laughs> Come on! You can't let a little thing like context get in the way. <laughs> because without context, I can clearly see people disrespecting our flag all over the place. Look at the Pope crapping all over old glory. <laughs> And check out The Bachelor insulting our troops, just like that. And then there's this anti-American dirtbag. Boom! Oh. Look at that cocky ginger spitting in the face of our great nation's military. I can't think of anyone less American. For more citizen journalist, Nicole Thurman. What's up? Nicole. What's up? What's up? What is up? Nicole. Let's talk football. We know Trump disinvited the Eagles, but in an act of generosity, he still invited Philly fans to the White House to celebrate the national anthem. It's a great idea, right? Look, Jordan, I hate to say this, Donald Trump is a master deal maker, but this was a bad deal. He said no to a group of Super Bowl winning millionaires in suits and yes to a thousand Philadelphia sports fans. These guys? <laughs> Fans pulled down traffic lights, started fires, and tipped over cars. Some climbed on the awning of the Ritz-Carlton. This fan hopped on top of a police van. You have glass everywhere, cars that were set on fire. Authorities rubbed hydraulic fluid on light poles. It didn't work, but the Eagles are happy. Come on, Nicole. <laughs> These are the common man, salt of the earth people. No, Jordan, they're salt the earth people. Okay, nothing survives them. Like, remember that cute little robot from 2015 who was hitchhiking around the world? He was so excited to explore the US, then he went to Philly, and they beat him to death. <laughs> Philly fans are lawless, raging maniacs, and Trump invited them into his home, the White House, which, by the way, is a rental. Okay, so... <laughs> so you're afraid they'll burn down the White House? No, no, I'm afraid they're gonna get jobs in the White House. <laughs> Listen, Trump loves bruisers, okay? If he sees a guy whose resume is a sock full of batteries and a pocket full of f**k's, that guy's gonna get a job. <laughs> The fan who intentionally threw up on a little girl? Hey, you're the director of health and human services. <laughs> the fans who crushed the Ritz-Carlton awning in charge of our infrastructure, that's their job now. And how about a fan who punched a horse 
and then sued the cops whose horse he punched. <laughs> hey man, congrats. You're the new secretary of punching horses. It's an EPA job. Opposers, are there any three words more exciting than click and subscribe? Yes, Hillary shot Lincoln. Subscribe now and find out the truth they don't want you to know. And by they, I mean losers looking for YouTube handouts without clicking subscribe. Do it.